Hi and welcome to my next video and I'm going to show you how to make a, a custom sound or a preset in uh, Z3TA Plus. It's a VST synthesizer. So here's my uh, Z3TA Plus synthesizer and um, I'm running it inside Traction 3. Okay, so if you all don't know how to program synthesizers I'll let you know that most of them are different. Uh, there's two main types, some that work with samples and some that work with waveforms. And this E3TA Plus right here, this one works with waveforms. Okay, so you have your two main windows, you have your effects window, and you have your main window. Here is your main window, and all of them are different. The way this one works is it has different oscillators. Oscillator 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 oscillators. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose any preset. So I'll just go in and I'll just pick one. And we're going to mess with it. Okay, so here's the way it sounds. Raw. Kind of an ugly sound there. So what we'll do is we'll go first into our effects. We'll turn off all our effects um, just so that we can get a raw sound and then we can affect it. You know, we can start off with uh, from scratch basically. So we're going to make sure our polyphony is up to a good number. Then I'll put a polyphony 12, rendering it high. Um, now we just want to equal equalizer, set our equalizer up. So. so we've roughed out our equalizer and now we will go into the main window of the Z3TA Plus and what we'll do is we have low frequency oscillator and arpeggiator and they're all off and we have our envelope generator and we want to make it so it releases slower We've just moved that so it releases slower. Okay, now see how let's see how many oscillators we have that are on right now. So we have a vintage saw. Okay, we got three vintage saws, and the rest of the oscillators are off. Okay, now one of the really and the filters. We'll just leave the filters. We'll. For now, we'll just leave the filters the way they are. So, one thing that's really cool, it's got a shaper feature. And I'm going to show you what the shaper feature does. And that's, I, uh, you know, I, I haven't seen too many synthesizers with the shaper feature, but it is a nice feature. So here's the shaper window. And if you just click on shaper right here, you'll get this window. And when you press the sound, Oh, actually, you have to have an oscillator selected. Okay, so if I select an oscillator, there you can see the oscillator. Okay, now that's the current oscillator that's playing. And just to get you, give you an idea of how Z3TA Plus works, is each one of these oscillators that you have turned on, it feeds into the next one in a circle. Um, if you have them all selected, they'll um, feed into each other into a circle so right now we'll only have one two three oscillators is quite a bit so because I'm just starting out making sounds with C through TA plus so what we'll start out with you can see that there's six oscillators um, only three of them are turned on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna only use two so we want to use these first two synthesizers and we'll use um, apparently the one, um, the first oscillator will affect the second oscillator. So the second oscillator is 
um, an add synthesizer, which means it's, it creates a sound. And then this one, we'll use it as like a, an effector oscillator, so it'll be affecting this one. Okay, so that's just, it's pretty rough, but that you kind of get an uh, idea if you choose it from the group. If it's add, it's create, it seems to be creating a sound from what I've experimented. And for example, I'll turn this add, I'll turn this one off. Okay, and now we'll just turn this one. Well, we only have one um, oscillator on right now. And if I hit the key, there's no sound. So ring, there's no sound. Sync, there's no sound. PM, there's no sound. FM, no sound. And then add, you can hear it's a sound. There we go. Okay, and then here is the shaper. So you can see I can shape it. And maybe I can get some other sounds out of it. Okay, and you can also change the uh, uh, octave range. Okay, there's the octave range, so now I'm getting a better sound. And you can see that I can actually, in real time, I can take that oscillator and I can shape it with the shaper. You can hear it in real time, it's affecting the sound, okay? So there, we've taken our, um, and um, so anyways, what I want to do is, in Z3TA, um, if I choose this one and I choose it as an, say, a ring modulator, and I turn it on, okay, and I, you can see it has no effect on the first oscillator. See, there's no effect. I can change it. I can change the bus, the phase. Uh, I can change it to sync. I can play with it, and there's no effect at all on the first oscillator. But if I reverse it and I turn this one to an additive, so this makes is the this is the active oscillator, and then this is becoming the affecting oscillator. You can see that I can what I can do is I can get the first one basically affects the um, second one. So this is kind of the sound, and this is kind of the effector oscillator. Okay, so now that you figured out. That basically teaches you how the Z3TA Plus operates, and it's going to save you a lot of frustration because you know you can turn on the oscillators and you can you know move them around, and you you know you'll just get horrible. You'll get either no sound or else it'll be terrible. Okay, so that's basically lesson one. Okay, so now. So we'll go with that. There's different modes. There's normal. There's multi. That creates multi. It's very loud. Okay. Okay. So then. So we'll just use normal mode. Okay. We've already got quite a nice sound here. Okay. We can transpose it. If we transpose it down an octave, it gives you some kind of like. Sound. Okay, now let's go back into our original oscillator. Okay, now we can also change this oscillator. And scroll through the sounds. Okay, there's a nice one. Okay. We change the bus there. Okay, so perfect. So that's our new sound. Okay, now we'll mess with the filters.
section, so I just moved that. And that turned on. tune it now. This is the great thing about it because what you can do here is about this synthesizer is that like I said one oscillator feeds into the other oscillator and then um, you can do that you can set it up without the shaper but you're gonna run into a lot of problems because um, you need to use the shaper to fine-tune everything and without the shaper it just uh, it's really hard to get the each oscillator to tune into the other one it's impossible basically to do it because you'll just get it's really hit and miss you won't get any good sounds out of it so like without the shaper you're pretty much you're not going to have any luck you know using multiple oscillators together the way you would have it with the shaper okay so now that we have the shaper open we just choose any of our oscillator and uh, then we fine tune it and you can get a really original sound
can see it's really rough sounding. But then when you go into the tuner, is to go into the effects. So we'll go into effects and we'll add, um, we can add a reverb on here. Okay. Again, we can go back and change the uh So anyways, yeah, um, that's just uh, showing you the Z3TA+, and uh, I've spent a couple of hours trying to figure out how to make original sounds, and with this, every VST synthesizer is different on how to program it, so that's this is just showing you the shaper is pretty much key to, um, like when you have the two oscillators or more oscillators feeding into each other, um, if you just change the waveform, um, and things like that, you're gonna, it's gonna be pretty rocky. I mean, you're gonna get really horrible sounds. And the only way you can fine tune it is basically with the shaper. So that's a quick video showing you a little bit of how to use the Z3TA+.